I would like you to see how we can create macros for ProPanel in 3D and just converting existing step files. So first of all, open an existing project that you have, a small project that contains any, nothing. Make sure that the type of project is a macro project, not a schematic project, and then you're ready to go. The next step is actually very simple. You uh, just import the step files that you have. Here, before I do so, I'm going to quickly change my workspace around. And here I have, of course, my uh, layout spaces, because this is really what I'm interested in. And I'm going to import a 3D um, step file. Now, this 3D step file can come from a website. Uh, it can come from your colleagues. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go and get it here from the server. We have some 3D step files. And I'm actually interested in a power supply. We'll see how this looks like. So we open this you will see the power supply coming in. And in some cases, you find multiple objects. If you have multiple logical items, you will select this, these logical items and you will unite them together, right? To unite them together, uh, you can actually use here the menu edit after you selected it. And then under the graphics menu, you can unite them. Now, of course, if you unite them, they unite all together in one object. Now, the second aspect is to define what we call here a placement area. Now, the placement area is to define where exactly this component will be sitting when you will be placing it on the uh, panel a little bit later. So to insert and to define a placement area, you will use the device logic. The device logic down here under edit is here defining a placement area. So the placement area at the moment I cannot really see it because I have to rotate. So you can actually activate the rotation, rotate it and say okay my placement area will now be right there. So this is your placement area. If you click here on the 3D view front you will actually see the component as it is presented to you. Here is the top view, right? So this is pretty much how the power supply will be inserted. Now the other thing you can do, let me just put that in 3D fashion here, is to define the handle that will serve you when you actually place the component. A lot of people, when they place the component, they want it to be placed on the left-hand side here of that corner. So they will be placing what we call here the placement. Um, the, the handle itself, right? So you can find this handle here. You can define a handle. So you can also find the handle under the edit device logic, define the handle, and then you can actually come and place it on the individual objects. Now what you can also do is using the auto snap mode here, you can actually try and snap on some objects. You can also use the control key and if you click on one point and the other point it's actually going to go right in the middle of that segment that you just defined here right so that's going to be the handle the next step you have to do is you have to open your uh, layout and you have to assign the macro name and of course the macro variant that is to be assigned to this particular one. So the macro name will be basically the name of the macro where you want to save this. So I'm just going to dump it in a generic one, but you can actually save it somewhere else. And I'm just going to call it power supply here. And this is a power supply, so power supply. And I'm going to put another number, 046653, because that's the component's name, right? And there you go, that's the name of my macro. To generate this macro, all you have to do is run the utility here, generate macros automatically from this macro project. If you answer yes, if you would have multiple objects in here, it would actually do all the macros. If you answer no, it will only do this particular macro. Now you are ready to go up to the parts management, find your power supply. I'm just gonna go here and 
do a quick search for power supply. Assuming I created this power supply somewhere here in the voltage sources, I'm going to pick one. It's maybe not the right one, but just to you, for you to show you. And I'm going to assign the macro here. Right now, it's actually pointing to this macro, which is actually a 2D macro. So good for a 2D panel layout. If I want to use this power supply that I just created, I'm going to use this one here. And bingo, you go. Next time you place this component on a panel layout in 3D in Pro Panel, this will be your macro. There you go. That's it. That's all you have to do.